coming out. Here it is. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shoot! Ants! 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 Hey, what's up you guys? Oh my goodness, man. We are at some old stomping grounds. Do some of you guys know where we are? I know a lot of you newer people, y'all don't know where we are. <laughs> it has been a minute. Matter of fact, I need to go ahead and talk to you right now before we get to our destination that's a few feet up here. All right, so you guys, we are at Beaver Dam Creek. All right, so Beaver Dam Creek is the creek that's right beside my house, all right? We are upstream from my house. My house is down that way, okay? So we are upstream from my house at Beaver Dam Creek. It has been about maybe two years, literally, it has been two years since we've done some major work here at the culvert. There's a culvert right up here. Some of you probably saw the short video that I uploaded not too long ago. I was coming through here with the tractor because we got corn planted back here. And I saw the water level. The water level looks sort of high. Look at the water, you guys. I have some concern now. <laughs> like I said, we've been getting some rain. I don't know what's going on, but I don't have time to get out and check it right now. But uh, we're going to have to definitely check on Beaver Dam Creek here at the culvert at the crossing sometime soon. And that was a few days ago, actually probably about maybe two weeks ago, really. And the water was high. So the water might be down now. We've been getting rain a lot. Uh, we hadn't had too much rain recently, but at that time we had been getting a lot of rain. So that might be why the water was high, but we're getting ready to see. So anyway, you guys, we're gonna call this season three at Beaver Dam Creek, all right? Season one was like when we tore out Mother Beaver Dam, Monstrous Beaver Dam. Uh, what else? There's other Beaver Dams this way too, but Mother Beaver Dam number one is that way, all right? That's the first largest big beaver dam that we taught. The video that went viral, that dam is in this area here, all right? So that's why I'm saying this is season three because this same creek, Beaver Dam Creek, is the same creek that Father Beaver Dam is in. Father Beaver Dam is downstream from my house. So it's on the other side of the highway or the road. Father Beaver Dam and where we saw the, the biggest alligator, all that was in Beaver Dam Creek, but it was downstream from my house. Right now we are upstream from my house. Okay, you got it? Do you have it? Okay, so now you guys, we gonna go in. I had to give you that little backdrop before we uh, entered here. When I was in the tractor, I told you that this crossing here, where this culvert is, culvert is, is where I had saw the stick that looked like a snake, and it scared me. Ooh, ooh, man, this thing is so long, I can't handle it all that good. I'm telling you, you woo, I'm trying to handle this big baby. Ain't no joke. I don't know if it's breaking or if it's pushing. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! You guys! <laughs> I almost jumped out of here. Oh my Lord. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> so it's 80 degrees right now, you guys, 80 degrees. And it feels pretty good in the shade here. So that water level right there is definitely up higher than I'm thinking it should normally be. Now, the last time we were out here and did a little bit of work, we had put a, ch I guess you call it a chicken fence around the culvert so that they couldn't keep blocking it up inside. That water level is pretty high there, ain't it? But let's see here. I gotta be careful because I know snakes is definitely, uh, definitely out. Now, if you remember, 
this side of the creek here or the culvert is deep right there and it's not really much um of a path for the water to get out but something definitely is going on now i actually never took the brush cutter to this side over here when we was working back here because you guys we were working back here and uh we pretty much conquered it because they they didn't rebuild for years <laughs> literally So we moved on to other places that needed to be taken care of. You see, there's there's not much of, oh, you guys, do y'all remember the tree that the beavers had girdled? It has fallen. Y'all remember that tree? I had put some chicken wire around it because they had Oh, the, oh, oh, the mosquitoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm glad I got off on. I might have to put some more on. But there was a dam right here. And the water's flowing through it. They hadn't rebuilt this one. <laughs> yep. And the water's not high on that side, so I'm, I'm guessing the next dam down is um, the dam by the tree. There was a tree that fell across and we cut it up. That's the next dam down, so they probably haven't rebuilt anything down there either. But anyway, wow, we're in old stomping grounds, you guys. Okay, now let's walk over here to where they cut the tree at. It finally fell. Wow. Y'all see this? <laughs> Two years. And uh, there's our chicken wire. It was too late. It was too late, you guys. They had already went around the entire tree um, before we put that chicken wire up there. All right, you guys. We're going to try and salvage this tree. I'm going to see if the tie wraps will hold it around there. <laughs> Let me show you up close, up close in person <laughs> what it's looking like. Yeah, because that right there might be enough to deter them. From coming back to this particular tree like i said man that right there it's a nice size tree that would work for his good even i mean it's so tall though the tree is so tall it would it wouldn't fall down in the creek it would fall to the other side so it probably wouldn't work for his good not unless he built a bunch of stuff up under the tree after it fell <laughs> so uh yeah that's that you guys so it fell across and it's not down in there. So guess what? I'm not about to mess with it right now. <laughs> I most definitely ain't. It's gonna stay just like that. A bridge across the creek. <laughs> okay, all right. We are gonna go back up to the culvert now. I was thinking about riding my e-bike so that I can make travel down to the other dams a lot easier. Cause I do sort of wanna you know, at least just go look at where Mother Beaver Dam number one was and Monstrous Beaver Dam. And y'all remember there was a bunch of stair step dams going up, up the creek. Uh. All right, Terrell, it is snake season. We have got to be careful. I guess we gotta watch out for alligators too. Oh, Beaver Dam Creek. Whoever would have thought that there was an alligator in Beaver Dam Creek. Wow. See this right here, this place right, oh, <sighs> mosquitoes bite me. This right here is higher. It's higher than, uh, 
where the culvert is. But, but, you guys, y'all know from the past work that we've done, even though this is higher, I mean, even though this is higher, that water on the other side, it drained lower than it is with all that water puddled up around the culvert. So I'm, <laughs> I'm almost beginning to wonder if they went in from this side, if they went in from this side of the culvert, man. Oh no, I really, I really. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I don't want to walk in this. I don't. Ever since seeing that alligator, my whole life has changed. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, it smells lovely too. I don't think there'll be an alligator right here. If it, if it was, I should have hit him with the potato rake already. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that water's nice. Ooh, that water's real cool. Woo, man. Uh oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? I feels like there, there's a little bit of mud right in front of it. Oh, you trying to tell me we're gonna have to cut a tree again and jab it in there? Because the, this potato rate won't go but so far in there. So, uh, I couldn't feel nothing. Wow, this water's real cool compared to <laughs> the temperature of my legs. Man, that's almost cold feeling. Um, I declare though, I think I got my shovel in the in the Tahoe. We may need to dig some of that out. Um, but we do need to go on the other side first and check that chicken wire over there and see if it's clogged up, if it's stopping up the water over there. Could be stopped up. And that could simply be why it's so high on that side. Could be natural blockage we're about to see so i just took my backpack off because that thing was getting heavy on my shoulders already man i need to lighten that joker up some all right, let's see what we got here. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> I gotta make noise, I gotta be loud. I'm sorry, cause uh, I need to disturb anything that's in here. Just in case. Just in case, you guys. Oh, it do look like, okay, check this out right here. It do look like there's quite a bit of debris right there. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do, you guys. Let me set up, let me set up the other GoPro on the other side so that if that's our only problem, we'll see the water rushing in on the other side. Let's do that. And maybe, wow, yeah, that water, that water's high, man. That water's high way down there. So let's, let's do that so that we can catch it. We can catch all the action. <laughs> I'll check back in, all right? All right, you guys, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I hope that this is the only problem. I hope. Oh, I don't need to pull the sticks down. This could be our only. Oh yeah, this is gonna do it. This is gonna do it. I hear the, I hear the water spilling in. So we were our own enemies here. It's not the beavers. Get that trash. That chicken wire is like the holes are very small. So, it 
it does not allow much to pass. As a matter of fact, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna pull the, the entire wire up and then that way uh, it'll drain it a whole lot quicker. And you know what? Yeah, okay, I'll leave you on the headband. Yeah, I'll get up close. Ugh. Up close view. I had those sticks there sort of like keeping the wire from coming out there it is whoa whoa drinking is drinking Our work is going to be made easy today. <laughs> I guess we can walk to the other side and check it out now. Yeah, got the seven over here. Yeah, that's much more like it. That is much more like it. Chicken wire is like the holes are very small. So Sort of like keeping the wire from coming out. There it is. Whoa! Whoa! Drinking. It's drinking. Our work is going to be made easy today. <laughs> Let's walk over here. I'll show you what I was talking about when I said even though it's higher, it still should have been flowing. See? Still should be flowing like that right there. Yep. Of course, it's not going to drain, you know, super low by the culvert still, but it has no problem flowing on by. Going on through this dam here. <laughs> Cause 
Cool. That right there looks like it's gonna be a problem, ain't it? Ugh. Yes, I'm walking without the potato rake. I'm almost about to say there's no need to walk upstream now, but we are still gonna walk upstream. Make sure that everything is flowing properly. Draining on down. Let's make sure there's no more debris getting hung up. There's one to make me think it's a snake. <laughs> And y'all do remember that this culvert is actually too high. I meant too low, excuse me. It's too low. No, it's too high. I'm tripping. It's too high on this side. It should be lower on this side and higher on that side. We didn't put it in. It's been here for years and years, so. Is that your coffee mug? <laughs> I said coffee mug. Uh, what is it, travel mug? the rain that we've been getting and the creeks were like super dry before all of the leaves and stuff that was in the, the bed or the bottom of the creek once that water started flushing it down this way it naturally blocked it up I guess we're gonna let this drain and let's walk let's walk upstream you guys and check it out we'll let it drain as low as it can for the time being. We'll take a peep at it before we leave. <clears throat> it's probably gonna get to where it doesn't run in the culvert anymore before we actually leave from out here for the day. But uh, it's already dropped a whole lot. So anyway, I'm going to pack up and uh, we will head on upstream and off we go so like I said we're going upstream upstream is to the left I think there's about six dams this way maybe well were six dams Ooh, we got bright didn't it we have corn planted back here 
the day that I saw the water level high, I was, uh, what was I doing? I was cultivating. I was cultivating out here. And as you can see, the corn is up, you guys. Dan had chisel plowed out here um, instead of me ripping it. And after he chisel plowed it, I cultivated it. So, yep. Now I got to try and remember where the entrance is. I'm pretty sure it's probably growed up by now. It should be coming up right up on the other side of this limb hanging here. Right here. I got a cough. <laughs> Wow, this right here, oh, tree limb is falling. Man, trying to make it difficult for us, ain't it? Maybe we can get around. Oh boy, there's thorns. I do not need to be putting a hole in my brand new chest waders. Looks like a treetop fell there. It wasn't the beavers this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame them this time. Wow, look at the water level, man. Going down, down, down. Look at all the leaves just hung up right there. I'm not worried about it, but yeah. So dam number one was somewhere along in here. I see the water moving. What's, what's going on there? All right, moving on along. We got a lot of walking to do, you guys. I do want to walk downstream from the COVID there. This tree here was girdled, but it's still standing for right now. But uh, I do believe I don't know, those leaves are green in it, so it might still have some life. It might make it. I'm glad it's not real growed up here. Y'all remember we did cut this out with the brush cutter. That looks like a den over there. Let's see, I think about right here maybe was, no, not quite, up here, yeah. Oh man, see, look at all these trees that have fallen, man. That tree right there was cut by the beavers, for sure. Dam number two was right there. I, I will be walking along the cornfield when we leave. Ugh. Although it feels good in the shade here. Number two was right there, you guys. There's no rebuild. Just a lot of fallen branches. That looks like a right smart amount of buildup right there. Normal buildup. I will pull some of that out. Help that out. A lot of pine straw. Them pine trees. There's a lot of them around here. And a lot of mosquitoes too. That's a little bit heavy. Whoa! Slipping and sliding. I'm rushing because I do want to try before it gets dark and uh, go downstream from my house where Father Beaver Dam is. 
it has been i think i think it's been about five months it's been about five months since we've been to father beaver dam or should i say that area over there for a long time they never rebuilt anything so probably gonna be the same way over there as over here maybe a little bit of natural build up but not really any beaver activity i guess we'll see that's why you're gonna have to stay tuned in this new season <laughs> this new season in beaver dam creek okay we're moving on Ugh. this right here washed out it been like this from when the water was high back in the day wow a lot of mess there um right here is where that old rotten tree was looks like it finally fell in i remember we saw a snake here too but guess what <laughs> that's gonna stay like that for right now it is oh let me tell you i changed the chain on my battery saw you guys that thing cuts like brand new now i believe that might have been what the real real issue was but a new battery and a new chain <laughs> you guys i could cut up the world with that thing now <laughs> i should break it out to show to show it off to you but i'm not gonna do that because i'd be wasting time anyway um there was a dam right here that was number three i believe yep oh the mosquitoes are getting worse the deeper we go all right so now from here on the numbers get out of whack because of the way that they had built the dams and the way we discover them and tore them out i think the next one is number it's not going to be number four i think it's number five because the one that's furthest that way is number four we had discovered that one yeah number five was right here they had number five right here you guys and uh there's no rebuild there the mosquitoes wow 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 we'll walk and talk so when i had discovered the fourth one which is the furthest one down i didn't have time to tear it out that day it took a while for us to get back and all the time while we were waiting to get back they had built that one down there which became number five So, number six was right here. That's where number six was. And there's no rebuild there. Good. But you can definitely see the water had backed up way back here. Crazy, right? Not really, because we knew before that's how it was so <laughs> right at the culvert the culvert was holding all this water i can't tell you how far in the woods we are now or how far up the creek we are as it pertains to feet but uh we're a good ways up the uh field now that's the end of the field there so yeah now we're gonna get to number four number four was a nice size one but during that time it had got like super dry and the water level had got low it had got real low every time i come back here to think about tearing it out i didn't want to because it wasn't going to be no water helping us so <laughs> it was delayed for a long time and then we finally got to it and uh got the water drained 
Okay, so that pine tree. Y'all remember the pine tree that was laying across here? It broke and it fell. Because remember, we had a trail camera hanging on that pine tree. It was hanging right over the creek. And uh, wow, <laughs> look at this, man. The dam has sort of disintegrated on its own. And it always looks like there's a lot of water up that way, but it's not really much. It has drained down though. You can see the water level has come down. So this will, oh shoot. <laughs> I might see if I can move that though. So yep, this was number four, you guys. Things are looking good here upstream. At the culvert <laughs> i'm gonna uh see if i can get this out of the way i probably can pull it enough since it's rotten and pine trees aren't oh boy might be a problem aren't heavy wood or is it hardwood i say Ants, 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 ants. Oh, I thought I felt something bite me. Lord Jesus. Ants. Yeah, man. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> One of them got me for sure. One of them got me. Wow, I was about to get into that thing too. Oh, Jesus. They, oh, Lord, they all in the glove there. Let me check back in. Let me get these ants out of here. <laughs> they all in the glove. Lord have mercy. You guys, I gotta put the glove on and, and beat the fingers because I don't wanna I don't wanna pull the insulation out to get on the inside of there. Uh because it'll be hard to get it back in there. So oh boy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I seen three of them in there. Oh man. Maybe maybe I'm killing them by doing that <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is wow I feel like it's still biting me Ugh. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the saw I'm gonna get the little saw and see if I can cut a few pieces off and uh, I'm gonna let them sit over here for a little bit maybe they'll come further out if they want to all right I guess I still gotta sort of touch it though to, to cut it. Watch, watch this though. <laughs> oh yeah, I see them jokers all over it, man. to roll it over it's cutting just fine just got a short blade on it a bar short bar it's almost all the way through Get on this side of it oh, without getting in the ants. Wow, man. Oh, that thing feel like it's still biting me. There we go. That's enough of it broken off. I'm gonna get my gloves now and uh, I guess we can cut a piece over here too, huh?
You ain't hit bog down that one time, did you? Uh, <laughs> let me see. Uh, man, just need a longer bar. Let me get that off of the ground because I don't want nothing else crawling in there. It's, it's hard to, to cut from the bottom side because it has that guard on there. Well, actually, I, I guess if I flip it up like that, I, <laughs> I never thought about that. But I think it's, it's gone as far as it's gonna reach in there. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll have to get rough with it to break it off. All right, ants. Oh gosh, wow, it feels like it's still biting me. Man, look at this, the whole thing. Whole thing is, <laughs> I'm picking up the whole tree, you guys. You know what? I'm not about to expend all of my, uh, all my energy on this because this is not really a problem. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm gonna get packed up and we're gonna get out of here. Ooh, the mosquitoes are about to carry me away, you guys. And I'm telling you, this ant bite is whelping up like never before. I ain't never seen one whelp up that big. Uh, just wanted to pull a little bit of that out of there. Help it out just a little bit. That'll do. That will do. Ugh. All right, number four. We'll see you another time. Yeah. Woo. I kid you not, <laughs> I think I might walk back under the trees. I probably won't. Either way or, I'm gonna check back in when I get to the culvert. I'm not gonna worry your patience and make the video all that much longer. <laughs> I know somebody's saying, oh, we don't mind. We'll keep you company. <laughs> Y'all so nice. Y'all are so kind. And if I don't let you go, we'll be back before you know it. So anyway, <laughs> I'll check back in when we get to the culvert. And we are almost back. We have made it to the road. <sighs> we'll be heading downstream from the culvert next mother beaver dam number one and all those other dams are that way but before we go that way let's see what this water level looks like oh yeah you guys yeah i almost forgot we we need to put that chicken wire back in before we leave i'm not gonna do it right now though so that it can continue to flow like it needs to. Ugh. See what we got here. Yep. See, it's not gonna, it's not gonna flow much more. It's almost barely trickling into the culvert. But uh it's come down good, you guys. It has come down good. 
And so, you know what? <laughs> yeah, to keep this episode for being so long, we're gonna wrap it up right here before we head downstream, you guys. You know, I was just thinking about how we have been revisiting the places of old where we've done work previously. Man, you know what? I, I thank God for Jesus because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away and all things have become new. So what he's saying is that old life, what people used to know you by, or who they knew you for being, when you come into Christ, you're new. God is not going to point the finger and be like, you remember when you used to do this and you did that? And the enemy, he's the one who tries to condemn and bring shame and guilt for your past. But in Christ, your past is erased. The slate is made clean. So never, never believe the lie of the enemy when he tries to condemn you and make you feel guilty and ashamed. Now, of course, we learn from the past. We learn from our past experiences and mistakes. But in Christ, we always are looking forward. We're looking ahead. We're forgetting those things that are behind and we're pressing forward. I'm talking about even what you did a second ago. <laughs> God has forgiven you when you're in Christ. And it's up to you to continue to press forward and not let your shortcomings and your downfalls and your mistakes and your struggle, let it keep you bound. In Christ, we are victorious. We are more than conquerors. And you gotta know that, believe it, and walk it out. So don't worry about your past. Just keep your eyes on what's ahead. Continue to keep your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Make sure you check back in, you guys. We're in a new season. So after we leave here, we got to head to Father Beaver Dam if we got time. I don't think they rebuilt anything down this way, but we're going to see. We are going to see. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Hey, throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.